Hey guys, it's Egonzi Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited. I'm going to give this different because I'm going to be focusing on a couple of topics that I want to talk about. A lot of you know me from social media. You know how I talk about motivation, how I talk about making games, but today I want to talk about something in specific and it's actually three things that I want to talk about. So I want to talk about motivation. How do I actually stay you know, motivated to, to work on my games, to work on my side projects? And, and really the question is how we actually keep and make habits. Because I think that's a one question that I get a lot is, Dilmer, how do you stay consistent? You have kids, you have a day job, you also have your, you know, your YouTube videos. So there's a lot to take in. The other thing that I want to take in is also talk about consistency and how important that is. And then the last one that I want to talk about as well is going to be how you actually make it with, you know, having kids and, and how we can make sure that we can manage our time. How do we need support from our, you know, from family members, from spouses and so on. So the, the first one that I'm going to talk about is my experience with, you know, how I build a routine, how I've been doing that for the last seven years. And the main reason why I'm saying this is because I have a good friend who is struggling through this. He's going through, you know, phases where he starts working on it. Not only him, but there's a lot of people out there who work on projects and they just work for a couple of days and then they give up. So how do I do that? How do I build habits? And, and to be honest, it all starts really simple. i give you an example. So I couldn't wake up early in the morning. I couldn't do 4 a.m. routines like I used to do when I was younger. I used to wake up early, go to the gym, and then and then work on you know side projects, and and I changed my habits from going you know and doing that and then working late at nights, and and I was consistently really tired. I was working on so many things, so it was I was really struggling to to keep up you know the rhythm, the consistency. So what I decided to do a few months ago is to try to wake up at 5 a.m. So I did that one day, and it was really really hard. It got to a point where. My wife was so pissed at me because I, was setting, I wasn't turning off the alarm. She was the one turning off the alarm. So I've been going through so many different phases and then, and then somehow I found a way to, you know, to wake up at 4 a.m. And, and the reason why I found a way to wake up early in the morning is not only because I'm getting a lot of things done in the morning, but it's because I'm, I found my why. I found why do I want to keep, why do I want to do, why do I want to get out of bed so early in the morning? And, and the reason is because I know what I want to do, you know, a few years from now. I want to be able to, you know, have a big community in YouTube where I'm teaching people. I, I really found that I love teaching people. I, I not only do that here, in, I mean, in YouTube, but I also do it, you know, everywhere I go. I, I, just, I just have that passion for teaching people and, and people, you know, that release their games, release their apps because of what I'm teaching. To me, that's success, and, and that's really what gets me out of bed every morning. So that's basically the reason why I get out of bed every morning, because I found my passion of teaching people. So number two is how do you build consistency? So we, we're building habits, we, you know, we, we can do things that we didn't do before, and that's because of we're doing it over time. So consistency with me has been, I think, one of my key skills. The, the reason why I do it every day is not because you know, I, I just learned it overnight, and, and these are two, I would, I would think they're, they're pretty much very comparable. So you're building habits, you're building habits because you're consistent. So I've been doing this every night, I've been doing this every morning for the last seven years. And I don't want to get you and, you know, to run away because I've been doing it for seven years. That means that you need to do, for, do it for seven years. And I honestly did it for a couple of months and I got used to doing that. I, I didn't wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning at the beginning, but at the beginning it was okay i was spending 30 minutes every night it was really hard because now i couldn't watch tv i couldn't do all these things that, that now i look at them and and i just can't do it i can just watch tv and and i'm not saying that i'm wasting my time but i just i just don't feel like i'm contributing to my goals and and starting with 30 minutes every night was some of the things that worked with me and then i did an hour and then i did two hours then i would i remember you know going to bed around 2 3 3 a.m in the morning working on my projects and and you know that's just been a shift over the last few years and then now i got used to doing it in the morning i got used to you know doing videos it, it wasn't easy at the beginning so consistency is really important you need to make sure that you're doing it every day 
I, I get questions about people, okay, Dilma, I don't have time to do it every day. So that doesn't mean that you can't really spend, you know, a few minutes every day doing it. It doesn't mean that you need to do three hours. You can only just spend, you know, 10 minutes a day and start with that. And then tomorrow you might spend 15 minutes or, or you might say, you know, the first week I, I really want to get used to this. So I'm going to do 10 minutes every day. I'm going to work on my projects. I'm going to, you know, open my computer, do a check-in and, you know, or if you're a designer, create a, a graphic and, so just make sure that you're consistent, you're consistent and don't lie to yourself. Make sure that you do it every day. So the last one that I, that I also get questions about is Dilmer, you have two kids, you have your wife, you have YouTube, you have your day job, you have your side project. So yeah, I got a lot, but I got priorities. Like I know that it's important for me to, to make videos. In, my wife knows that my kids, you know, they see me recording. I involve them into the process. They come into my office. My, my three-year-old looks at me making videos, now he wants to make videos. So it, it's, it's just a matter of making sure that you're involving everybody. At the beginning, it wasn't easy for, for my wife to know that, you know, I had to spend time working on my, on my projects, making videos. And then over time, just realizing that this is something that is really important for me. I, I involved her in, you know, the comments that people are asking me. She, you know, she, she's involved in the process. And I think that's one of the things that everybody should be doing, like if you, it doesn't mean that you need to do a YouTube video, but let's say that you, you have an idea for a project, you want to launch that, but you don't feel like you have that big support from your family, from your from an ex, your spouse, your partner that is just right there. So for me, it was it was a process of time. I, I didn't start, you know, and, and told my wife, you know, tomorrow I'm going to start this big project and we're not going to see each other anymore. No, no, you don't you don't take it that way. You do it, you know, a little bit at a time, just like just like I told you about consistency. You gotta do it at small steps. You gotta do that with your family too, with your, with your wife. You gotta tell her, you know, I'm gonna be working on this. This is really important for me. I'm gonna spend this amount of time tomorrow. And, and this is gonna be, you know, a process that you guys are gonna go through. And, and that has actually worked for me. And, and with my kids, I play with them all the time. I have a great relationship with my kids and I love them. And, and they're my why as well. So, so those are some of the things that I wanted to talk about. Just to reiterate, we talked about motivation and, and how to build habits. The, the other one that we also talked about that, that I think is really important is you gotta find your why. You gotta find out why is it that you're gonna do and you're gonna work on a project that you really dream about bringing to reality. You gotta find that, you know, find that out and write it down because it's really important. And lastly, how do you deal with, you know, your kids and then having kids and having a big family and, and also working on your side project. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these and then, you know, talking about my experience and then hopefully that can motivate you. And, and you can also provide me feedback because you know, by all means, I'm, I'm learning as much as you are. And, and again, I really appreciate everybody that is you know, here in YouTube and the community has been growing. So thank you very much for doing that. I really appreciate your time. Thank you guys.